guys, so this is just a quick video to introduce you to the Read Write Think website, which is a way that you can make your timeline electronically, if that interests you. But by all means, if you want to just do a traditional timeline on paper, then go for it. Okay, so if you're looking at Miss Sutton's slides, if you're on slide number 74, you should be able to access it with this link. It's going to take you to a page that looks like this, and you just want to click Get Started. As a heads up, you do need Flash to use Read, Write, Think. So if you don't have Flash, you do need to download that. And then you're going to plot your timeline by date, so make sure that that is selected. And then you want to name it, right? I'm just going to call it China Timeline. I think that's good enough, but you could certainly name it something else if you wish. And the first thing that I would do, if I were you, is I would plot out your start date. I'm going to go with 1911. However, if you choose to include some of the dates before the beginning of the Chinese Republic, so for example, you might want to plot the Opium Wars on your timeline, right? You might want to plot the Boxer Rebellion on your timeline. And you could go back sooner, but for most of us, I'd say 1911 is a safe start date. Okay, so we're going to put that on there. We're just going to place that year right where we can see it. We're going to plot out the end date on the other side. Same stuff. I'm going to say 1994 is a pretty safe end date, and I can explain that in class. Make that where I can see it too. And then the fun begins. We start actually plotting out events and annotating them on our timeline. So by the way, I'm doing this quickly. So you might want to consider four scales to actually measure out where you would plot these dates on the line. I'm going to be a little bit more arbitrary and just pick a spot. All right, I want to plot the May 4th movement. So first off, when is it, right? We can be, it depends. I'm going to say that if you have years and not times of year, you're good. You could probably surmise that the May 4th movement begins in May, but for safety's sake, right, for simplicity's sake, just give the year. Short description, just label the event. Right? You don't have much room in the short description box. Okay, in the full description box, this is where you can add annotations, right? So you'd want to do something, and you don't have a ton of space in this box, okay? But this is your opportunity to list your takeaways, right? So whatever you find your takeaways to be, if you want to explain in more detail what the May 4th movement was, then I'd say what's even more important is for you to explain why the May 4th movement matters. So just to drop a few hints, it, this is when communism really starts to catch on in China, right? Realize that Mao Zedong is in Beijing in school at this very same time, right? Things that make you, not me as your teacher, but you as a student in the class, better synthesize the material. That's what you want to put in the full description box. And the other option that's kind of cool on this program is that you could actually add images if you wanted to. So I have not planned this at all. Maybe I should have. But I'm just going to do a Google image search and see if there's anything. It might trigger my memory. You know, I know that the May 4th movement is a student protest. This one I think is a little bit better because it's bigger. I know that it's, you know, not a photo. But I'm going to save the image onto my desktop so I could find it really easily. And then I will plop it right there in my timeline. Okay, we got our May 4th movement, right? Put it on the timeline. You're going to find as you add events that you're going to have to shift them around to make sure that they're all visible. And by the way, your longer annotations are not going to show up in this preview, but when you print out your map, you will be able to see the annotations. So if you run out of space in your annotations, you can print out the map and by all means type over that. Right? So it's not a perfect system. If you have longer ideas for annotations, you may not be able to get them to fit. But that's just one option for you guys if you're interested in trying to map out your timeline that way. By all means, I can answer questions in class. And if you don't have me, if you have Parsons or Wallace and you want to ask me, then uh, my office is Rossler125. So thanks for watching.